Hello and welcome to my Blenderpedia YouTube channel. Um, in this videos, I'm going to show you things about uh, environment modeling. Uh, I have cool stuff to show you, uh, how to make it, um, yeah, what we need for it, uh, which skills, uh, basics, and all the stuff like that. Uh, and to start up, uh, I have some reference images. Uh, what is a good inspiration for me and maybe also for you? So starting with this image, uh, it's oil on canvas made by Cornelius Springer, if I say that right. It's uh, an artist from the 19th century and he made all his work for, uh, with oil on canvas. So yeah, I can uh, tell you a lot about it. I'm not gonna do that. But uh, yeah, the reason I'm showing it is look at all these details. They are pretty amazing. That fruit, that, that wood, the bricks, textures, and the roof. It all looks amazing. Where are you looking? It looks good. And if that is possible uh, on canvas, we should make this way better. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's not that easy <laughs> as it looks like. So if we can make it almost looks like this, I think we are very happy uh, and we're getting somewhere. Uh, I can show you my development in the years. So you can see it's hard and you start somewhere and you're making it a bit better, but it's still, yeah, not easy at all. So yeah, I'm showing you old work. Uh, yeah, this is old work, as you can see. Uh, look at the floor, this is the street. I used a flat plane and I projected uh, a texture on it. I didn't know how to use displacement uh, modifiers also, uh, yeah hard brick patterns. I didn't know how to do it. Uh, what I did know was how to create the basic forms of a church, of a yeah, tower, the, the houses. That was what I did yeah, in the beginning. So I was learning, learning. Uh, also, the textures on these models are very basic, not very complicated at all. Uh, that was what came later in. So yeah, this is from uh, from four years ago. This is from three years ago. Uh, there are some basic improvements. You can see I work with shadows, some little bump mapping, new textures. Uh, I use window frames uh, using the Boolean modifier, what makes holes in buildings and worked yeah, pretty good for me. But yeah, you can see it's not at all what, what you expect from a, a realistic scene, a believable scene. So. Yeah. That's maybe good to tell you. I don't want to make photo realistic scenes, but yeah, acceptable, believable scenes what are looks pretty nice because uh, that fits in the best thing what I wanted to create. Uh, if I want to make a photo realistic scene, uh, I should work totally different than doing it like this. Um, yeah, and then the last image from the series uh, that is from two years ago, one year ago, well, it's a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I used the new brick pattern, so no plane with a project uh, texture on it. So my computer really didn't like this, <laughs> but yeah, it worked, it, it worked out. Uh, I put some water in it, uh, a bit of nature, a compositor, uh, yeah, not very hot stuff. I think uh, if you watch my tutorials the next weeks, you can make this scene and don't have to learn for years and uh, yeah, experimenting, ex experiment uh, till you die. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't, don't need it. So if you watch the tutorials, you can make this scene very easily. Uh, yeah, uh, for now, this is not my best work. Uh, I'm still learning. I want to make better images, but yeah, it's a learning process. And every time you learn something new and yeah, putting it in your scene, uh, but yeah, uh, I can show you some other work I made. This is with some snow in it. Yeah, you can see still the same problems. What? Yeah, some straight lines. Uh, yes, the, the texture is not that really good. Uh, I think here is not a lot of compositing. There is no blending in with the background. But this is uh, some old work. I think this one is. Yeah, this is newer. Uh, yeah, working what, with some 
warm colors. Uh, yeah. Uh, then I show you this image, what I made with cycles uh, last week. It's for my next project. It's not finished. Uh, I think it's around 50%. Uh, yeah, trying to start with putting nature in it. Uh, you have to do it totally different than uh, we did it in the Blender internal. So it was a lot of uh, yeah, trying out, uh, trying to create a nice scene in cycles. But yeah, where it's going to get somewhere. Uh, this guy is for the measurement. <laughs> I didn't put it in because I like that really much. But uh, yeah, I, th I, I can see, oh, I have to make that building a bit bigger or smaller to make it, yeah, to, to make it more feelable or I don't know. You can see these shadows look almost pretty good, but the nature is not good as I wanted it. So a lot of things to do in the scene. Um, what I want to tell you in the next tutorials is about how you make the street. Uh, I'm happy with it can be improved a bit, but yeah, it's uh, what I'm going to use in this scene. Uh, street furniture, uh, how to create a simple old medieval building. I can create modern, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna create that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that that's it for the couple of, uh, yeah, for this month. And after that, we're gonna spend some time on how to create boats, uh, ships, uh, and yeah stuff like that but for this month uh yeah i'm gonna explain how to curate this scene in cycles and yeah okay that's it for right now i uh, hope you watch the next videos and uh, yeah see you later bye bye